Welcome back to Tasty, ladies and gentlemen. This week we are going to be in Virginia and this is episode number 18. First and foremost, we are talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And unfortunately, the bad usually coincides with the ugly. So (laughs) we cut out the ugly and just put it all together. So we're going to start with Charlottesville, Virginia. So everybody knows that there was a white supremacy rally last year in 2017. And a young lady by the name of Heather Hare was killed by way of a car while standing in the crowd that was advocating against white supremacy. Well... The gentleman that actually hit her, his name is James Fields Jr. He's 21 years old and he has spent this time in jail awaiting trial in Virginia. This is an Ohio native, by the way, who has been proven to advocate violence against Jewish and African-American individuals using social media as way to push his racially charged antics. He is also an active participant of the white supremacy groups that are still here in the United States. And he's already been proven to be active in the rallying for white supremacy racial antics and other promotions and chants for those white supremacy groups. So he was actually seen in court today. Um, His trial is ongoing so far. But what bothers me is that he is pleading not guilty, though he is facing the death penalty. His attorney, whose name is John Hill, states that he is actually going to be claiming self-defense. So... Now that you guys have all the facts (laughs) on this situation, I'm going to state my opinion and I'm going to move on to something more positive. So this guy, 21 years old, right? Obviously he was taught this way of living is the way that he should be living because he's practically a baby, you know? I don't think I mentioned that he is actually facing 30 federal counts of hate crimes, And he's claiming not guilty by way of self-defense. How are you claiming self-defense when you are driving a motor vehicle? (laughs) I just want to know how his attorney is going to spin this. Because this is a white woman that he killed in this crowd. This isn't a black woman. This isn't a black man. This is a white woman that he killed in this crowd. So... Of course, the court is going to seek the death penalty. There is no way logically possible that anybody with good sense would say that this person who was behind the wheel of a vehicle who could have turned down any street, considering the fact that there was a big crowd of people on this one street, you could have clearly turned down any other street, but you ran your car through a crowd of people and you're going to claim self-defense? I must be living in the twilight zone. This has to be a joke. I'm in complete disbelief that his attorney would even vocalize that he believes that this is a viable defense for his client to not get the death penalty. Now, if this was a black woman or a black man, then I would say, yeah, of course they can spin it. This guy's probably got money from his family who's supporting him, who's trying to help him get through this. This, I'm sure, is some type of mental anguish because at this point, he's realized that he killed a white woman uh, who was defenseless. It's a difference in the United States when you are talking about the death of a defenseless white woman and a defenseless African-American anything. So for his lawyer to feel that this was actually a necessary defense that could actually get him off of the death penalty, I feel offended personally. 
how could somebody who's in a crowd, not even looking your way, not even knowing that you're coming at them, not even knowing that this is going to be their last breath that they take because they are fighting for equality in a nation of people who seemingly like fighting for segregation and enjoy such hatred. I hope he gets the death penalty. If he doesn't get the death penalty, I hope he gets life. I do not feel that this man has any right in any way, shape, or form to say anything, to have any type of defense, to want anybody to feel any type of compassion toward him. You make your bed, you lie in it. That's my take on it. I feel very strongly that this young man needs to suffer the consequences for his actions, period, point blank. Moving forward to some good news, of course, in Chesapeake, Virginia, the owner of Wine Automotive actually surprised a single mother with a new car on Black Friday. So definitely give the owner of Wine Automotive, his name is Jeff Wine, a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first I've ever heard of a car dealership giving away an entire vehicle at no expense to the owner. The single mother's name was Tiffany O'Neill. She was nominated to get the free car by her 15-year-old son. Bravo, son. You are son of the year for sure. And the vehicle that she was rewarded was a 2011 Buick Enclave. So a few things about this shop. This shop just opened up earlier in 2018. And the owner actually says that his goal is to actually give away one car every month to a family in need. I think that this is an awesome idea and more companies should do it. In every state, genuinely giving back. Now, let's be honest, as a business, this is a tax write-off, so it's not a complete loss for him. But this type of giving back is more personal than just going to a rally or just donating to a charity because there's no personal connection. It's not your community that you're giving back to in a personal transaction. This is somebody in his community that actually needs help. This isn't somebody over in Zimbabwe. Don't get me wrong. I get it. We are helping other countries, but if we are so gun ho to give back to other countries, why are we not showing the same efforts to our homeless, our battered women, our single mothers, single fathers, and our local communities. This guy deserves a medal for his caring thoughts. And to promote the Wine Automotive Initiative, anybody who is in the Virginia or North Carolina area should go and check them out. And if you want to apply, you can apply online. And again, that is Wine Automotive in Chesapeake, Virginia. Because this is a great effort that this man is making. So bravo, my hat's off to you, Jeff Wine. Okay, so that's been it for Taste Tea. Bringing it back this week after the Thanksgiving holiday. Definitely hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday. I know I did. Had family out. Ate very good. You know, had fun. Relaxed. (laughs) Everything that I can say that I am thankful for and more, you know. So definitely want to thank you guys for listening in to Taste Tea. And go ahead, follow us on Instagram, just say underscore official. And like us on Facebook at just say. And subscribe to us to get more so you know what's going on around your country. Keep our eyes and our ears and our minds open, you know. Definitely hope you guys enjoy your evening.